Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to create something very awesome. A coronavirus tracker. That's right. So we are going to plot on a map where the cases are and their scale. And the scale will be based on how many confirmed cases are in a particular place. Now before we get started, we need two uh, very important things. We need an API from where we can grab the data. And then we need Google Maps to, uh, to plot the actual uh, dots. Now for the API I used this link uh, you can see right on the screen and when you plug in this uh, URL you're gonna get this whole bunch of data for the entire pretty much world and as you can see the the top object uh, JSON object that they have it just sh shows you the overall confirmed cases and the deaths and uh, the recovered is zero so I'm not sure if that is actually uh, correct anyways we're not going to worry about that so here's the data now for the google maps you can uh, use this link and what you need to do first is get yourself an api key so i've already done that and uh, we don't need to worry about that now i'm going to head over to vs code like we do what i have here is four files let's start with the simple file i guess the data.json so what I did is I copied all the uh, JSON data from that uh, API and just dumped it into this file. And why, why I did that is I don't want to pound the server again and again as I'm doing my development. Once everything is done, then you can just point it to the right URL. So we're just going to close this one. Uh, then we have a style.css. I'll talk about that. We have a main.js or JavaScript file, which is pretty blank at this point. And we'll be adding code to that. And then we have uh, index.html, so it's nothing, just a pretty straightforward HTML file. And we just got a title, my style sheet, and then I have jQuery, and then my uh, main.js. Now what you need to do is to start using Google Maps, you have to go over here and grab yourself this link. And that's how you can start using the uh, maps. What this uh, script tag does is, it actually calls an init map function that then we have to write so that the map can be rendered and here is where you plug in your API key and just copy this and we're gonna go to VS Code and we're just gonna paste it at the very end and that's it and now um, what second thing I need to do is head over here and grab this hit save boom you get this uh, three boxes and these are these are actually will be showing the total confirmed cases the total deaths and the total recovered so it's not but just uh, it's nothing but just a div uh, I give it an idea of stats and then I have three divs and they, they all have their own classes and I'm just styling them through CSS nothing major now to render the map what you need is a div with an ID of map that's what you need to render the actual map if you want to see how I did the styling, you can just look at the CSS. It's nothing fancy. Uh, we just have a flex box and then everything is centered. So if I uh, move this around, it stays center. Just a personal preference. Then I have a card, which is these cards, and then we have just some soft shadow. So that's that. So I'm going to just kill that. And then we're just going to head over to main.js and actual do the actual coding. So as I said, we need an init map function. But before we do that, uh, we're just going to actually get reference to those uh, three cards. So let's start. So what I'm going to say, confirmed equals like we do, confirm. Don't forget to, uh, yeah, that's right. So I have that. Let me see if I can just quickly copy and paste. So if you want to quickly copy and paste in VS Code, uh, you do Alt, Shift, and then the W key, and then with the arrow keys, you can copy lines, actually. That's pretty cool. So these are deaths, and these are the cover. So I'm going to say deaths, and I'm going to say recovered. Now, as you can see here, uh, that's how I've uh, named them, confirmed, deaths, and recovered. They're just a couple of spans. So I'm just getting a reference to those. So that's, that's it. Now, when that is done, 
So what we need to do is now uh, create a variable map that's going to hold a reference to our Google Maps. And here's the function I was talking about that will be called by the Google API to render our map. Okay, so we're going to create the map uh, object uh, Google Google dot maps dot map. I'm going to create this, and what you need to do is you need to pass it that map um, that div that we created. We need to pass that to the actual uh, in the constructor. So we can say document uh, get element by ID, and we call it map. So we would just do that. You could call it whatever you want and then we just pass in some params so what's our zoom level we're going to stick to three uh the higher the zoom level the more i guess uh it's going to show deep the, the level is going to be that deep uh, so we're just going to be zoomed out and let's center it somewhere so i'm just going to say google.maps.latlong that's how you specify where you want to center the map so I've uh, picked Canada and these I found these online you can just find for your place and I'll just plug these in dot three two three two all right so this is where the map will be centered and if I save now you can actually see the map appear let's see any errors no errors that's amazing all right, so that's good. Our map is showing up, and that's how easy it is to show a map. All right, so now what we need to do is we actually need to start loading our JSON data. So as I said, the data is sitting in this data.json file, and we're just going to grab that. So to do that, we're going to use the super awesome uh, function from jQuery, JSON you specify where your file is or your data is and then there's a callback function with your data that we specify but let's see if this works so I can just say console.log data data so you should spit out my entire data and it actually did so that's amazing alright so the first thing I think we should do is update the stats so as you can see the stats are sitting in this object uh, latest and we have these three props on it so what I'll do is I'll just create myself a function and then we can maybe call it to update this stat up date stats and let's just give it latest so we already got reference to our three um, tags so so I'll say confirm dot text. That's how you do it in jQuery. Latest dot and the name of the prop is confirmed. And then we say confirmed. Whoops. Deaths dot text. Latest dot deaths. And then the last one is recover dot text. And then we will grab that recovered. Alright, so if everything goes well, and don't forget to call it kids. So I'll say update stats, and what I need to do is I need to pass it the uh, actual object. So it will be data.latest. So if everything went well, wow, that's amazing. So, so if I see here, right here in my data.json, here's my confirm, here's my deaths, and these are the recovered. So things are working well so far. I'm going to close this. Uh, the doo -doo 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 -doo. all right so now now what do we need to do so I mean the the data that in the, in the JSON file is for the entire world and I definitely don't need that so what I'll do is I'll just filter it by uh, I guess uh, where I am so I'll specify war my country and then you can change that to wherever you are I'll say Canada right and then what I can do is now I need to filter out if you look at this data it's it's pretty it's got like it's giant so I need to filter out just for that country and what we can do is we can use the filter function to do that for us and now the filter function will return you an array 
but we need to do that so we can say location data and array so this will hold our location data so once I've done the status then what, what I can say is location location data location data is equal to data dot locations right dot filter now I'm going to call this function on each element and I'll say location run this function on it location dot country dot lowercase my country dot to lower case right so basically what this will do is this will go through the JSON uh, data and it will return any country that matches my country then it will just uh, dump it into this array so let's make sure this works so I'll say console.log location data save and of course there's an error and why is there an error cannot read property to lowercase of undefined all right so it cannot do that why is that uh, yes because I called it LOC and then I'm saying location that's why there you go there you go so you got your 15 entries Alberta BC Grand Princess Manitoba Dara, Ontario right so we're filtering by the country if I specify another country let's just say I'm gonna say China then it's gonna show me all the entries from China so you got Beijing Guangzhou and everything so that's good it's working all right, so I'll switch it back to Canada hit save and boom we're good all right so what's next now we need to start plotting these markers on the actual map where the uh, data is so now this is where the fun part comes in so let's look at the API or the data that comes from the API so what you get so I'll just open the first one now what you get is coordinates uh, you get the latitude and longitude and this is what we need to do the actual plotting so I'll just open this on the side and we can see what the heck is going on so what we can do is we can actually just start um, going through this location data this array and then we can start uh, plucking the coordinates out so let's just start with a simple for loop i is less than location data dot length 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 it should not it's an array so yeah anyway so location data dot length and then increment forward all right so what do i need well i need to grab the coordinates first so i'll say chords is equal to location data if i can spell location data so grab that index and since it's called coordinates that's my object so i'm just gonna grab that exactly coordinates right so i get that then what i want to do is i want to create a lat long object that we're just going to pass in into the marker so i can say var I can say lat long is equal new google dot maps dot lat long right and then we will say chords dot now so as you can see uh, in here it's got latitude and longitude so we're just going to pass it like that lati uh, whatever this copy whoa I'm just going to copy this and I'll say paste that way we have no Spelling mistake, long e t u longitude. Is that right? If it's not right, we'll find out. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna create our first marker. So let's create a marker, and we say Google dot maps dot marker, and then you pass in an object, right? And basically the position position will be uh, the actual. Uh, lat long that we just created right above it right and then you got you need to associate this with a map so we're just going to say map is map so if everything went well wow amazing we should be seeing uh, all these points on the map so they, they all show all the uh, territories and provinces where things are this one is kind of off it's in the states I don't know why but what the heck 
So now this doesn't tell us the full story. I mean, we need to see, we need to draw a circle whose, let's say, radius is based on the amount of confirmed cases. So what we need to do is, if you look at the API for Google Maps, uh, you can actually modify a marker. And this is exactly how we're gonna do it. So we can specify something called an icon. And this icon can take SVG or it's, it can take uh, a custom shape that we're gonna do now. So let's say the shape that we want to use is maps.symbol circle. So we're going to use a circle. You can use a triangle, an arrow, I think. Uh, and then let's give it a fill color. Fill color of red. How about orange? Ah, red is good. Uh, maybe orange. We're just going to give it orange and then let's give it some opacity uh, and i'll just say 0 0.2 okay and then stroke color that's the outline let's give make that red and what about the stroke weight so let's make that 0 point, I don't know, 0.8 all right so now we need to give it a scale so the scale is actually based on the um confirmed cases so if I look at my JSON data, where is it? So you can see every uh, object that you get has a, an, another object in it called latest, and that has the confirmed deaths and everything. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do just that. So I'll say the scale is based on location, location data, and pick that, and I'll say latest dot confirm right so let's save it and see what happens okay so this is gigantic that's because these numbers are huge so we might need to scale them down so what I'll just do is I'll say math math dot square root we'll just take a square root of it and let's see how does that do. okay that's not bad so I mean as you can see uh, that's kind of scaled on version of it and this kind of shows you which province is actually having the most confirmed cases. So you can even scale them down more, but just divide them by 1.5, I guess. So Quebec is right now uh, leading with the most amount of cases, followed by, I guess, Ontario. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I hope this thing is over soon. So there you go. Uh, you just saw how we can use uh, Google Maps and API to grab some data and quickly create ourselves a nice uh, tr um, coronavirus tracker. So let's uh, switch to another country. Let's just do China. I'll hit save. So since I'm centered on Canada, that's why it's not going to show that. You might have to switch it to that. But let's head over to China. Boom, look at China. So that's, that's crazy. I mean, all these bubbles. So yeah, I'll just switch it back to Canada. And there you go. So I hope you like the tutorial and uh, subscribe, thumbs up and over and out.